What's up, y'all? It's right at about 11 o'clock on a Tuesday, and I'm headed out again to check out some ammo. Now, y'all still gonna be seeing this on Thursday as usual. That's just the way I do as far as ammo. It just don't feel right posting it on any other day. So it'll be Thursday for y'all, but like I say, it's Tuesday because I'm not gonna have time tomorrow. I'm going out to the range to do some more testing, so I figured I better get this done while I had a chance. Now, I've actually got a few things that I ordered and something else that was sent to me, and I've made a nice little find at one of the pawn shops that I'll go over when we get back to the house. So I'm just gonna run in my local shop while I'm out. I'll just take this a little bit slower and give y'all a little bit closer look than I usually do. But other than that, I've been in Rural King this past week too. They had the same, pretty much the same stuff. They did get some more shipments in, so it looks like they're getting back on track again. So anyway, let's run in the local shop and see what's going on, and then we'll head back to the house and I'll show y'all what we got. All right, y'all, we'll go a little bit slow, show you what kind of nine they got. I'm pretty sure I've tested most of this, but if y'all do happen to spot something, let me know. They got the ASP I've tested, Gold Dot, American Gunner, a couple different Hornities I've tested, the G2 stuff, HST. Then down here, they got the bigger stuff, the 50 AE. I need to do some 50 AE testing with my Desert Eagle. A couple 454 Casuals. I think I've got all of these. 500 Smith, I believe I've got. 357 Sig, I don't have anything chambered in. 10 mil, I think I've tested. I know I've tested both these Underwoods. Well, I hadn't tested the 200 grain hard cast, but we know what that's gonna do. The 10 mil Fusion, I don't think I've tested that. I believe that's soft point. Yeah, bonded soft point. The Handgun Hunter I've tested. USA Ready Punch. Big bore I haven't, but I'm not quite sure about that. Got the nine mil down to 1099 now on that 219 for a case of it. So really good on nine mil in here. 45 cold. I need to check on this. I'd like to get something else to do some 45 cold testing besides just the judges or those dual chamber, you know, 45 cold 410. I'd like to get some 45 cold dedicated. 44 mag, I got a, deep, a really good deal on some of that. I'll show y'all when we get back to the house. 38 special, I'm pretty sure I've done these. Powder and primer still looking really good. Somebody was asking about primers. They have every type now. Large and small rifle, large and small pistol. They got some magnums, anywhere from 749 to eight something on those. Tons of rim fire as always. Y'all be seeing that 22 mag m &P video pretty soon. I tested quite a few different Different types of 22 mag in it still a great deal on that 556 that i've been getting 7.99 on that green tips for 10.99 if you want the green tip hunting stuff i'm not gonna go real slow on this because they've got about everything 223 30 30 308 350 legends and 35 whaling somebody was asking about they got a couple different kinds of that 30 alt 6 22 250 i mean literally pretty much any kind of hunting round you can think of they've got it several different types of 243 270 300 wind mag still got a bunch of 303 british 50 bmg 338 lapua 450 bushmaster shot shells y'all know the deal there again pretty much a little bit of everything in here 410 still looking a little slim as soon as they get any kind of target stuff 410 it goes out of here pretty fast but other than that, they got a little bit of everything else in here. All right, y'all, we're back at the house. This is actually Thursday now, the day y'all gonna be seeing this. Yesterday, Wednesday, I was out at my range, so I wasn't able to do any of this. I actually did some really good AR testing out there too, so if y'all not subscribed, don't have your notifications on, make sure you do that so you don't miss when I upload those. But I'm gonna try to keep this one pretty short for y'all. We're gonna start it out with what I grabbed from my local shop. Y'all know the deal there. They've got pretty much anything you might want in there. All I grab though was my uh, quota of 100 rounds of 5.56. Five, Y'all know I've said that I'm going to grab at least 100 rounds a week of this X-Tac because at $7.99 a box, I mean, it's hard to beat. It's, it's basically impossible to beat right now. So I'm going to grab at least 100 rounds a week and that's exactly what I did this week. I got 100 rounds of that. And then we'll jump to one of the online orders I made this week. Um, I realized doing the testing on that 500 mag through that Bighorn Armory that I had very little just kind of general use 500 
500 mag ammo as far as sighting stuff in or plinking if you want to call it with a 500 so i grabbed some of this precision one stuff i like to get this just for general use just because it's about the cheapest you can find right now um 20 round boxes of it i believe it's 43.99 and these are actually xtps so they're not just fmj so 350 grain xtps are what this is loaded with they do have the fmjs but they're only like three or four bucks a box cheaper so i figured i might as well just get the xtps and like have just a general use plinking type of stuff so as you can see i got five boxes of those like i say at 43 bucks a box definitely not cheap at all and then next up is a super good score i made at the pawn shop this week on some 44 mag i actually got a couple different kinds and they've still got a stack of both of these in there i mean they got a pile of stuff in there somebody definitely brought in a bunch of it i don't know where they got it from but they brought a bunch of it so as you can see the first thing i got was some of this 44 mag american eagle 240 grain jacketed hollow point uh y'all know my local shop actually got some of these in recently and they're 58 bucks a box over there as you can see just a good old hollow point 58 bucks a box at my local shop uh this pawn shop's got a bunch of it in there they had it marked at 55 um but i made some deals with them on buying all of this right here and i actually got it for 40 bucks a box for this so two boxes of these at 40 bucks a box that's an absolute steal right now i mean i could not turn that down and then the same thing here on this lever evolution this 44 mag 225 grain with the ftx projectile y'all know i've actually tested this stuff before and this is some really good stuff right here as you can see that ftx projectile on it they had this marked at 30 and we agreed on 20 so i got all of these for 20 bucks a box and these for 40 bucks a box and like i said they've got a pile of this stuff still in there so i might go back and get some more of it because right now that is an absolute bargain and a half on 44 mag and then next up something pretty odd but definitely in a good way it's this liberty overwatch in 10 mil and i know y'all are saying you just got some of that you've already tested it and all that and yeah you're right and y'all know if you watch the uh ammo video i did when i got this i ordered it from optics planet and you know they sent me a 10 mil box on the order they sent me a 10 mil box but it actually had nine mil so i got in touch with them and they immediately sent out the new stuff no questions asked well a week later uh, they emailed me wanting a picture of the box so i sent that in to them and they actually refunded my money they had already sent me a new box so they refunded me gave me a credit on top of it and then about a couple of days later i had a, me a message on my phone that they were wanting to know if it was okay if they gave my info to uh, liberty ammo so they could send me a box of ammo so i returned the call and let them know you know y'all have already made it more than right but they still were like well no i mean they want to send you some ammo so i i said yeah go for it and then this stuff showed up about three days later direct from liberty so i can't say enough good about optics planet and liberty as far as this whole situation uh, went i mean there was a problem with the order and they made it right and then some but as far as the ammo like i said i've already tested this y'all have seen it it's the liberty overwatch stuff a little bit heavier than the standard liberty civil defense and this again is another box in 10 mil and then next is another online order and i actually made it from midway i was on there just browsing to see if they had any kind of oddball type of ammo that i haven't tested and they had a ten dollar off promo if you spent so much so you know i couldn't help myself so what i got i noticed they had some of this atomic ammo and i haven't tested this at all i think i've done a old clay test or a while back with some of their uh subsonic 300 blackout but other than that i've never messed with any of it so they got some 45 acp plus p here figured i'd check this out now they say precision crafted match grade bonded defensive ammo and looking at this i'm pretty much positive that this is a berries hybrid i mean it looks just like the berries hybrid so i'm thinking this is a berries hybrid y'all know not the greatest look out of that stuff that i've tested before however this is plus p and they're giving some pretty decent velocities 1225 this is 185 grain so maybe it'll do something if we can hit some good velocities so i grabbed one 
one box of this. This wasn't the cheapest. This was uh, 59 bucks. Now, obviously, it's a 50 round box. So if it's good stuff, that's not terrible, but definitely not the cheapest in the world. And then I figured since we was messing with the Atomic, I might as well make an Atomic type of day out of it. So I picked some up in 9 mil plus P also. 9 mil plus P, 124 grain. Now, they're saying 1,300 feet per second on this. So if we can hit that, maybe it'll do something good for this stuff because y'all know I actually tested this not long ago in an underwood load at 124 grains uh, now it wasn't plus p it was moving a whole lot slower so again if we can get the velocities out of this stuff because i'm almost positive those are berries hybrids and we've already seen like i said that those things definitely want some speed to do right and then the last thing i got from them was something that a few people have requested that i test but i never can find it locally i'm the only federal syntech that i ever find locally is just their ball round stuff and there was really no reason to test that we know about what that's going to do so i ordered a box of this stuff here the syntec defense 138 grain in nine mil now if y'all aren't familiar with this it's actually a segmenting type of round it's supposed to split off into three pieces there and then the center piece keeps on trucking so should be interesting as you can see the blue powder coat or not powder coat this is actually polymer here the syntec coating it's supposed to be a clean burning deal and supposed to have some clean primer on it too so should be interesting to see what this stuff does y'all know i'm not a huge fan of these uh specialty if you want to call them type rounds but should be interesting nonetheless got one box of this this stuff was i believe like 39 bucks for this and that actually does it for the week y'all so a nice haul i think this week the pawn shop stuff that 44 mag a heck of a deal on that my normal 556 and some really interesting testing stuff so let me know what you think about the pickups what kind of testing are you looking forward to and let me know what kind of deals you might have gotten y'all's area again if you do enjoy the videos reach down and hit that thumbs up button make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you got them notifications turned on if you're doing some shopping check out those affiliate links in the video description anything you buy from any of those links down there i get a kickback from them towards the channel so i really do appreciate that as always i appreciate all my range gang members and every single one of y'all out there for supporting the channel like i said i did a lot of ar testing yesterday so some really good stuff coming y'all's way make sure you stay on the lookout for that and in the meantime stay safe stay prepared and i'll see you soon